day 150, becoming Christopher Cruz. Just finished lunch, I'm about to go make the presentation for tonight and put all the little sticky things on the back of the lion journals. Um, yeah, so I was just uh, sitting at lunch and I was listening to Neville Goddard, who's like this author, and he was talking about the law of attraction, how it works and everything. And he was saying you have to imagine you being in the greatest situation you can imagine being in, feel what it feels like to be that person, and, th and then be that person right now. Which is what I've been unintentionally doing and not even aware of that I was doing it. Because I'm walking around with so much intention, I'm so focused, I'm like, so productive I'm so on point like yeah and it's like the when I look at me in the future it's like I'm on stage there's 30,000 people in the audience and I'm walking around and it's like this is the kind of intention that I walk around with this is the kind of confidence that I walk around with this is the kind of energy that I walk around with and that version of me is very responsible, very on point. Like, he's just a fucking badass. And that's who I've been embodying. That's who I've been being over these last couple days when I started being responsible and just getting shit done. And so that energy is just so powerful. Like, and so I'm doing exactly what he says to do. Like, basically imagine you in the greatest situation that you could be in, feel what it would feel like to be that version of you in that situation, and then embody it, be it right here, right now. Take the future and bring it into the present and live as if that were you. And it's like, that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm walking around like I am Christopher Cruz. I am walking around the same way I would if I was running a billion dollar company. Like, or if I was backstage getting ready to go on stage and speak like just on point as fuck. And the cool thing is I've felt this energy before because this is how I was when I was running my companies. Not all the time, but a good amount of the time. And people could feel that energy and that confidence and that power. And that version of me was super inspiring. So, um, yeah, it is. great. It's like, I just want to keep getting shit done. I want to keep getting shit done. I have all this stuff on my list and the more stuff I get done, the better I feel. So yeah, it's really cool. Really cool. But I was just sitting there listening to that and I was just like, wait, holy shit. That's exactly what I'm doing. So yeah, this thing is random. I thought California could save me. Hmm. I don't really know what that means, but maybe it's like people move out here and they think that's gonna save them from themselves. And then they realize that they moved out here with themselves and they can't escape themselves. Who knows? And who gives a shit?